They are considered uh, some of the unsung heroes of World War II. Lakota Native Americans formed a small unit known as the Lakota Code Talkers. In tonight's Positively Kelloland, Don Jorgensen shows us how a local sculptor is honoring them and their service to our country in a big way. Uh, it's been great. The project's going great. Sculptor Darwin Wolf has been slowly piecing together this life-size clay statue depicting one of South Dakota's code talkers. This project has been more intimidating than almost any other project. Um, I've done other projects with more detail, but uh, not the demand for accuracy that this one does. He's been working on it since September. It's amazing. It is totally amazing. But Wolf doesn't want us to show all the details just yet. He wants to save that for the official unveiling when it's finished. Wolf has been sculpting the Code Talker in front of a lot of people at local hospitals. Quite a few people know now that I don't sculpt in my studio. I'm always out someplace else. Like the VA, Sanford Health, and soon a Vera McKinnon. And people have been following him wherever he takes it, and they're impressed. Yes, yeah, the intricate details are really cool. The history behind the Code Talkers is what makes their heroics and their story incredible. 69 South Dakotans from the Lakota, Dakota, and Nakota nations served as Code Talkers during World War I and World War II. They used native language to create an unbreakable code and relayed classified information in language the enemies couldn't understand. And that's what makes this statue a one of a kind. This is going to be the most historically significant piece in South Dakota. Um, so there's some pressure with that. With Positively Kelloland, I'm Don Jorgensen. Wolf was selected to do this sculpture by a committee made up of nine tribal members. When it's complete, the Code Talker statue will be placed at the Capitol Lake in Pierre.